The Niners have to bench Mike McGlinchey. He's terrible. He was unforgivably bad in this game. And he's been this bad for years. I've been trying to say it since 2019 that he's a, 2018, 27, 2018, that he's a liability. And I, people kept saying, I didn't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm looking about. It's like he plays football on roller skates. No power, no anchor. He's soft. He used to be a good run blocker, not anymore. And on, on pass plays, he is a flat out liability. If he doesn't commit a holding penalty, he's given up a sack. He gave up two sacks today and had two holding penalties. He's terrible. You can't tell me that Daniel Brunskill would have been worse. One of the underrated reasons that the Niners went on that run last year, everyone's like, oh, it's because Debo got moved to running back. Yeah, that was part of it. The other part is that Mike McGlinchey was out. They were 3-5 and five with Mike McGlinchey last year. He went out, missed the rest of the season. Tom Compton came in, not even good, but he was an upgrade. Same thing could happen this year. What's so funny is that the Niners really could go on a run if they would figure out who their best players are. If they would get Mike McGlinchey out, put in Daniel Brunskill at right tackle, if they would get Jordan Mason in the game, I'm going to keep saying Jordan Mason. They're going to cut him in a few weeks when Elijah Mitchell comes back, and they better pray that he clears waivers because the Rams could use him. The Cardinals could use him. The Seahawks could use him. NFC West team, any NFL team, if you're watching, Jordan Mason's the truth. Pick him up. Don't let him clear waivers. The Niners aren't paying me. It's not my job to help them. If they could just get Daniel Brunskill and Jordan Mason on the field, they might just win. But no, they still haven't figured out, after five years of McGlinchey, that, man, he's horrible. Horrible. Got to get benched. Kyle Stocks an already stacked and inexpensive running back group. The issue is the O-line. Kyle realized this. He won't. The issue is Kyle. Chosen says, 10-0 score went away from the run. Lost. Deja vu. Jimmy is not built for a shootout with this team. Defense not doing good. Jimmy is a backup. I was thinking, man, you're up 10-0. You're going to ice the game with the run game. Nope. They started passing because he's a genius. What you don't understand about Kyle is that he's a genius. You really piss me off, says Greg. You could have put Joe Montana in there today and crap. It, you kill. You could have put Joe Montana in there today and crap it. You can't even see the problem. Jimmy Garoppolo is not a bad quarterback. Kyle's the problem. They're both the problem, Greg. I'm really not moved by the Jimmy Garoppolo fans blaming Kyle and the Kyle Shanahan fans blaming Jimmy. You're both the problem equally. Share it. Stop pointing the finger at the other media, the other bad person. Eric says, what happened to Warner? He's totally disappeared. I don't know. Maybe he's overrated too.